Aloha YouTube, it is your girl Galleria, and it is Galleria Game Time. Greetings everyone, and aloha again. Welcome back to my channel, you already know who it is. And today I am back with another video. I am back with Splitgate Episode 5. So we're just going to go ahead and get right into it. Of course I'm going to do my mental health check-in and everything like that, but I'm super excited to be back here on my channel and ready to play some Splitgate tonight. Uh, tonight is just going to be a lazy uh, Sunday night refresh and of course I'm going to fill you in on all the you know gaming news and everything like that so let's just go ahead and get right into it um let's see so what we're going to do is we're going to do quick play like we always do and we're going to do some team death match and I like the team objective so I think I'm going to keep that and then I think I'm going to add hmm. I was looking for the capture the flag, but we'll just go with what we have for right now. So, so what's up, everybody? We are playing team deathmatch as usual, and I'm ready to go ahead and get into it. Um, I was playing Splitgate earlier, and I was having a lot of fun. And I was like, you know what? I do feel like recording a video today and getting some content out there. Um, my cousin Shante or Coco Shante, she kind of switches her name up sometimes, but um her channel name on twitch is shantae's diary she was uh just started streaming and i was watching her i was like you know what? let me go ahead and give my subs you know something because i do not want to neglect you guys because i want to make sure that if somebody is subscribing to me that i have content out there for them to watch so yeah let's just play some split gate and let's just go ahead and start out with a little mental health check-in like y'all know i love to chit chat even though i'm really just playing the game but i don't know for those of you who love it that may be you know what you're here for if not and you just like the gameplay hey everybody watches people for different reasons um mental health check-in i'm doing okay right now i am content um one thing i will say it's one of those word of the day messages of the week type of things that I try to give you guys sometime when I can always 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 be very careful how you treat people be very careful how you treat people because you literally don't know how it can affect them in the long run that's all I'll say so y'all take that with y'all and y'all carry it on with y'all and see what the end is gonna be all right praise the Lord so now that we've gotten that out of the way i am content um just some uh life things that's been going on i did lose a family member uh a week or two ago so i have been dealing with my family and spending time with my family of course when you know funerals and things like that happen a lot of family comes from out of town and so that's but it's, it's always fun though because even though it's a sad time it's always a fun time because my family we try to just like celebrate life and we're not really uh people that are like sad around funeral times because we all sit there and talk about the memories and we look at the pictures and we spend time with each other because we know that that's what that person would have wanted especially when it comes down to like that close immediate family uh my mom has well had about 12 sisters and brothers in total so she did lose one of her sisters so as you can imagine that was my aunt which is somebody that's close to me so it wasn't one of the aunts I was as close to I'm not gonna lie and say I was but still it's like somebody that I've known and been around my whole life so it's still a hard thing to deal with and yeah but it was nice seeing my family and us being able to get to spend time together again since we you know hadn't seen each other in a while so i will say this another message of the week family that you don't see that often and don't talk to that often make sure that you're talking to them and you're seeing them and things like that i have not done my justice a lot of the times when it came down to stuff like that and i always wish that i would have especially now that i'm older and there's nothing holding me back or stopping me from doing that so that's something that i have to work on uh within my life so make sure you guys are doing that calling your family talking to them seeing them when you can uh one thing i will say that i i um made sure that i tried to do is when i when family events did come up i wanted to at least go to see some of the people that i don't see and to talk to as often even when they are like immediate family like that because sometimes you just don't 
Um, as many aunts and uncles as I have, no, I don't talk to a lot of them a lot. But, you know, because you don't know what can happen, it's, it's really better for me to start doing that. Um, so, yeah. You know, just life things, just life things. I, you know, have been in the process of moving, which is not a bad thing, you know, but it's taken a while. Um, yeah, taking some time off of work and on vacation and things like that. I was just trying to rest and get myself together mentally. Um, so, yeah, guys, I'm telling y'all, take care of yourselves and make sure you're reaching out to people and talking to people and making sure that you're doing right by people do right by people that's the biggest like thing i can really say as a person just do right by people don't try to screw people over um don't try to bamboozle anybody don't try to make anybody feel like you i guess have some type of say so over their lives because nobody has the right to do that to someone when they're just trying to live their lives okay so take that as i said before take take that with you take them little nuggets with y'all and y'all Go on and see what the end's gonna be. All right, guys. So we're playing King of the Hill this time. Y'all already know how I do. I do most of my talking at the beginning of the the match, and then it's like my little warm up game. All right. So we're at Club. I think Silo, King of the Hill. Um, but yeah. So. What we're gonna do is we're going to make sure that we secure this little circle first before we start yabbering and blabbering. Y'all know how I do. I get distracted real easily. Now I really wish these folks would come and like, yeah, please. I hate when like it's King of the Hill and they just leave me by myself because I can feel them coming. I want to make sure I focus because yeah. Okay. See, as soon as I turn my back. Oh my god, as soon as I turn my back. But I did rack up some pretty good amount of points. So they can't say I'm not doing my part because I am. So they haven't changed the circle yet. So we're going to go back up here. Nope. Thought you was not. Okay. So, guys, Black Friday had just happened and technically a lot of black friday sales are going on right now um if you have a ps5 or a ps4 um there has been a lot of sales for sony right now for ps5 um you can get 2k23 madden 23 the new saints row um let's see what else i've seen if you play the elder scrolls as much as i do you can get the elder scrolls um for sale even if you just want the base game you can also get um the new chapter um dang you can also get the new chapter, which is High IO, out right now. And if you're like me and you prefer to get the premium versions of the chapters, you can get all the exclusive items and things like that. I would suggest buying it now if you have the money. Um, High IO is um, about, I think, $37, which is um, the collector's edition. It's about $37. And the rest of the editions are like $20, $16, and $13. So... If you really, really want the new chapter, you can get it. I personally, I really, really want to get that collector's edition. I love getting like those, you know, limited edition items. Um, I probably won't be able to get it on the sale, which is okay though. Um, because I was planning on getting high aisle for my birthday. Uh, not my birthday. Christmas either way. But yeah, if you guys have it and you want to go ahead and get the sales while you can, I would definitely suggest it. Um, if you are a simmer... I would highly suggest going ahead and getting some expansion packs now. Not stuff packs, not the other packs, but some expansion packs. Because the expansions, as we know, are the biggest packs. And they are the most expensive. And um, they have the new pack on sale, high school days. Um, I didn't see Snowy Escape on sale. I don't know why, but I, I didn't see it. Um, but they do have like get to work on sale season so some of the packs that are like the staple packs one i will say that you definitely need to have if you don't have is like seasons and like get to work 
Um, that way you can go to work with your Sims. You can have fun doing that. And seasons will, of course, allow you to have the rain and the snow and fall, winter, and all that stuff like that. So I feel like that's just something that a lot of I know a lot of people are saying that it should have already uh, come in base game. Um, but I don't think it's ever been that way. I don't think it's ever been that way where seasons have come in the base game. Um, I know in like The Sims 3, rain came in the game, but seasons didn't come in the game. And that was something that was kind of like, mm, to me, because I remember I used to obviously play The Sims 3 so much before I started uh, venturing into my new systems. And I used to wish so bad that I was able to play with like snow and things like that. So... I don't know that's just the way they kind of do it so i mean i guess some people don't care about seasons so they may not never buy it but so yeah definitely go ahead and take advantage of those deals yo i cannot believe we died already what was going on with the king of the hill <laughs> see like you know what y'all the other teams they be working together you see how there was so many of them in the circle at one time I don't know it seems like the teams that i get they're always spread out somewhere else other than where they're supposed to be like i think that's that's what the, the issue is right now like mm. i just um started back trying to play call of duty again and i was trying to play warzone so let me give you guys the rundown on the call of duty situation so i've the reason why i haven't played call of duty on my channel yet is because i haven't played call of duty like that since like ghost i haven't played like since ghost or since like maybe let's see black ops 2 those are the ones that i have now i do have black ops 3 and 4 now but as I was saying before, a space issue, but just in general, I've been trying to get back into getting, like, used to playing Call of Duty, but ever since I, um, switched over from PS3 to PS4, I haven't been playing it like that, um, and the new Call of Duties are, like, I won't say difficult, but they are 100 times more immersive than something like Splitgate, um, with Splitgate, when you're just playing, you don't feel... You feel the rumbles and stuff, but it's not as intense as Call of Duty. I'm pretty sure you could turn that stuff down. But it's like with Call of Duty, it's like you can feel the pull of the trigger. You can feel all the rumbles. You can feel the footsteps. You can hear the footsteps. It's just, it's a lot, you know, um, especially when you're playing the Battle Royale. So, um, right now, uh, I just tried to, and like I said, so this is my first time playing the Battle Royale version. I played it one time and it just did not go well i did not know what i was doing i did not know the controls i was holding up my entire team because i didn't know where i was supposed to drop i was dropping too far from my team it was just a mess so i was like you know what i can't do this let me just go ahead and <laughs> let me go ahead and just play split gate again because i know split gate i know how to get around split gate so that may be one reason why i'm so like kind of decent at it i ain't gonna say great but decent at it um yeah oh i got to learn i got to learn the new controls and stuff for call of duty it's too much it's it's like overwhelming so yeah i just tried to play modern warfare again and it was overwhelming again as soon as i got out there um i obviously got shot down, <laughs> shot down and then i went to gulag and gulag i never win gulag i don't even know why they sent me there they might as well go ahead and send me on the glory because i don't never win um terrible terrible embarrassing embarrassing so the pressure was getting worse uh. so what i need to do is i feel like that's the reason why i want to actually buy one of the games because doing modern warfare is not going to work if i don't know the controls and stuff like i need to go into practice mode so i i don't know and i was going to use like um maybe i'll just go ahead and just play like black ops uh three and four and maybe black ops 4 and just go into practice mode and like i'm pretty sure since those games are a little bit more recent that they have more uh the more recent controls and things like that and yeah i'm just gonna have to practice that's what i used to do i used to just get on and i would practice first and then i would go online uh yeah uh one thing i will say is though i absolutely i stay out of the chats um 
I do not turn my voice chat on. I do not talk to anybody. I don't even talk to anybody on Splitgate because, as I said before, y'all already know how it is. I'm a. I made this clear, so we not doing no kissy kissy goo. I'm a black woman. I'm a female. You know all of the above. I'm headstrong. So if anybody say some crazy stuff to me, it's on and popping, and they y'all gonna be on the ground if I find them. So, yeah, like. Uh, I know that the horror stories I've heard from so many um, black women and just women in general of the racism, the sexism, the misogyny, the slurs, um, the disrespect. So as I said before, I'm the type where I get, I'll get, I'll get heated, bro. I'll get heated. So I ain't got time. I keep my stuff off. So, and I know it's like it's a shame you shouldn't have to be scared to like. And I'm not scared per se, but it's like I don't want to. I don't want to invite that. That time. I don't even like. Look, I don't like to use the word energy, but truthfully i do not like to invite the energy into my my gaming sessions i just like to chill do my thing i don't want no smoke i'm just trying to play the game you get what i'm saying so like i honestly real deal contemplated with putting black girl gamers in my in my gamer tag because i didn't want to be harassed so i just put ggt on there and it's just the fact that i even have to think about that while trying to just play a video game it's just this video game but the fact that I even have to think about that because I don't want to turn on my voice chat and get harassed or something like that is crazy. It's crazy. And I have seen that over the years, like um, Call of Duty and Apex and um, Overwatch and, and um, games like that have been really cracking down on like the racism and sexism and stuff like that. They're not tolerating it like that. They've been banning people and things like that. So that makes me feel a little bit better about it. So I, I appreciate the fact that game devs are not like tolerating like, look, report this person if you have to. So, um, but yeah, just, this is just, this is the truth, y'all. This is just stuff that I think about being a black, black female gamer. I honestly, when I think about it, I have only once out of 25 years and out of basically 15 of those years playing video games, I have never been on voice chat before. Like, I've been on voice chat one time on, uh, well, two times, because I already had it on, on Fortnite a couple years ago. Um, I got on Fortnite, and the good news is everybody was nice. Like, I don't even think, honestly, guys, I have a deep voice. I don't even think they realized I was a woman, let alone a black woman. But I was on there with some pretty cool people. Nobody said anything crazy. Everybody's pretty much, like, quiet and just like, hey, can you hear me this or can you do that or whatever. Nothing crazy. And then, like, the next game I had got into after that with voice chat, I was on there with, like, a bunch of little kids, probably, like, 13 14 year olds maybe even younger than that so they were just doing their own thing um but after that then i switched my voice chat like right back off so i have i have never actually been in like a call of duty voice chat room or anything like that i tried a little bit of like just a little bit of like listening to the voice chat on, on eso and let me tell you guys even in the elder scrolls even in the elder scrolls i I wouldn't actually talk like not before, like the, how I did on uh, Fortnite, but I've turned on for a couple minutes and I would literally hear the craziest stuff, the craziest stuff. And I would turn it right back off. I would leave the voice chats and be done with it. So that just kind of tells you guys everything y'all need to know. Like this is it's, it's hard. It's, it's really being a black woman in this kind of society now is just hard. Um, that's really what I can say about it. Um, I feel like a lot of people feel like because of my, um, I think it's ethnicity, I think that's what it is, nationality, that um, it makes it easier for me in some type of way, but people have to remember, they don't, they don't know what I look like. It's not about looks, it's not about phenotype, because they don't know what I look like. They just either hear my voice, and number one, assume I'm a guy first, so usually they don't think I'm a woman either way, um, or two, they, um, if I'm a black girl, or a female in general, they say, oh, you're a girl? Or you're a... And they probably want to say, oh, you're a black girl? They, they, You know, you guys get it. So, as I said before, they're not seeing me. So, none of all that goes out the window. I don't think a lot of females realize that, what? You're talking to me because I look like this and I'm cute and you can't tell me nothing. Girl, these people don't care about that stuff. These men on these games do not care about how you look. Do you know how many e-girl, gamer girl type of... With their boobs out, short shorts, crop tops, and everything like that. They're doing their thing. Y'all do y'all thing. You know what I'm saying? Whatever. But they don't care about none of that because it's a hundred million of them that that's doing that right now. None of y'all are being different right now. And as I said before, you being black sets you apart for the rest of them because you being black is a target on your back. 
I, I, you know, a lot of the black girls, I wish y'all would understand, being black literally is just a target on your back at that point. Not only being a woman, but that's like a double, double-edged sword right there. So, as I said before, I'm going to, I'm going to always speak on those topics and I'm never going to, to sugarcoat it. I'm never going to be quiet about it. I'm never going to, because it's, it's something that has to change, but most possibly never will. So we just have to deal with it. Um, but yeah, what I'm, my point in saying this stuff is hopefully one day I will have the courage to start being in gamer communities, making gamer friends. Um, I think that's why I don't have gamer friends because I don't talk to anyone. The only people that I talk to in the gaming community is like females and I don't actually talk to them. I might like comment on a post or have like a one or two exchanges with someone, like I said, underneath a post on like Twitter or something like that. And that's literally it. It doesn't go any further than that. And I want female friends to game with but i do want to be able to like be comfortable with going in commu these communities these gaming communities and talking to people um because i feel like it's it's kind of like you know i think that's how i can I build a, a friend group you know so i don't know y'all tell me down in the comment section do you guys and I'm just talking about anybody, anybody. Do you guys get into gamer chats? Do you have gamer friends? Do you have a, fr a friend group that's like your gamer group and you guys play the game and it's like a safe space for you guys? I wish I was able to build something like that. I feel like that'll make me more comfortable. Um, or are you guys just like me, kind of a solo player, don't really talk, just kind of show my face, my virtual face and, and dip out the room after the game is over, you know? um so we're losing terribly we have four they are at 19 as you can see they are clobbering us right now and i feel like i am just just running around blindly right now so let me focus a little bit better now y'all seen on my last stream we were playing uh king of the hill and y'all seen i turned up on my last stream i turned up it was fire y'all seen i <laughs> y'all seen i was in the collection agency i was getting bodies killing it you know what i'm saying i don't know what happened on this stream but hey everybody has their good days and their bad days their on days and they off days but Okay, so somebody was definitely behind me, and did they leave? No. Yes, they did. I can hear them. I can hear them. Oh. Wow. Oh, I thought they had went upstairs. Come on. Oh my. Oh my god. I've been trying so hard not to scream into this. <laughs> scream into this mic. But I don't want to blow you guys' eardrums up. But y'all are like. <sighs> You're killing me right now. You're killing me. Literally. Okay. I am literally recovering from my cold right now. I'm finally starting to to feel better. I think it was just it was just like one of those common cold type of things where I, I got to take some Alcacess or take some Robitussin, stuff like that. I was trying to make sure I felt better before the week began, but I'm definitely feeling better. I still have a little bit of the sniffles. I don't know if it was because I ended up being around a lot of people, and usually I'm in um by myself all the time, of course. Um, so. I think when I had ended up going a lot of, uh, around a lot of people, like my family, things like that, that's probably where the cold came from. Um, when I went to my aunt's funeral, it was actually really cold outside as well. So it ended up being cold outside, just a lot going on. So I ended up getting a little cold, but I'm recovering, as I said before. Um, the weather in Florida, South Florida, has been a little weird. It's just kind of been on and off, but it hasn't been like blazing hot which is good it's just been kind of like cold and then or it's just like warm or it's like kind of rainy lukewarm so 
I don't know. It's just a weird, it's a weird, uh, weird fall. The fall is almost over, and we're about to go into winter, of course, uh, since we're about to hit December. Um, as you guys know, in Florida, that really doesn't mean anything because Florida weather just does what it wants to do. So we're going to see if it actually gets cold in December, but most likely we're probably not going to really get the cold until January and February like we normally do. But I do know that the up north, it's it's actually cold right now. Just waiting for the game to start. I don't know what this delay is in the game starting, but it usually doesn't delay like this. I guess it's loading people in. Y'all are seeing this right, because this never really happens, so that's why I'm like, okay, what's going on, Splitgate? Um, my game actually just crashed, so <laughs> I'm back. Um, well, not crashed, but it um, kicked me out of the match, so... we're back so while i was waiting for the game to load guys i was on twitter you know on my uh gaming profile so if you guys didn't know i have a gaming profile on twitter aside from my personal profile it is galleria gt easy to find so if you want to see um all of my gaming updates it is going to be on my gaming profile sometimes i do post some on my uh personal profile but usually i will always like repost them on my gaming profile as well so as i was saying uh, I was just checking out Twitter uh, while I was waiting for the game to load, and I did see a tweet by Azarela YT. If you guys did not know, she is a YouTuber. She mostly plays The Sims, um, and there was an announcement from Sims that they um, will no longer be supporting G Shade on The Sims 4, um, which is crazy, guys. Um, if you play The Sims 4. Um, I know a lot of gamers, especially uh, black female gamers, from what I've seen, this is from what I've seen, uh, use G-Shade for, a lot of them give it like a, it's like a more vibrant reshade over the game. Um, now it does give it kind of more of like a red undertone or a purple undertone to the game, but it's kind of like, yeah, a more vibrant tone to the game. So a lot of people don't like the color of the game by itself. Uh, as I was saying before, um, apparently Sims 4 will not be using the Origin launcher anymore. Apparently they are moving over to a new system to launch the game. As I was saying before, the new system is not compatible with G-Shade. Uh, the creator of G-Shade apparently is not going to be working with the Sims 4 anymore. Um, so they have left the team and they have left um, the Discord for the Sims 4. So yeah um apparently this person that created g-shade of course has um done a lot of work with the sims 4 and things like that but they decided not to continue on uh but yeah it's crazy it's really crazy because as i said before from what i've seen most simmers that play on uh the computer use g-shade so now i believe i'm not sure but i believe g-shade is also the same or the the creator of g-shade is the same one who created the um the a shader that kind of gives the game that uh cartoony look it's kind of like that outlined overline type of look um i believe that's the same person so i don't i believe if i'm wrong y'all let me know in the comments down below any of my simmers out there but i believe that if that is the case they won't be able to use that shade either um now as we guys as we all know um the sims is coming up with i guess a system that can be used to uh for simmers to use mods that i guess are like approved um and tested by the sims uh in ea so apparently they i don't know if they were just going to come up with something like something else that they could use or whatever that's going to be like g shade and the creator did not want to do that i guess most likely because it wasn't going to be their own thing um but yeah that's that's really it's really crazy so now that creator pretty much has to find like something else to do or with their with their um i guess tech career when it comes down to creating content for the sims 4 so that's kind of sad and i'm pretty sure it was something the sims could not avoid as well but yeah i just seen that kind of like breaking news and i'm like oh wow like 
Um, honestly, though, honestly, if I was, if I played The Sims 4 on console, uh, not console, but on, um, on the computer, I probably wouldn't even use a shader because I'd, pref I personally don't like the shaders. I feel like they make the games look kind of funny and then it kind of ends up not even looking like The Sims 4 at all. Um, I feel like some of the shaders, I feel like the colors are a little too harsh and it takes away from the game, honestly, but some people really love it. Some people cannot play without it. So now a lot of people feel like, oh, you know, the game is going to be like gray and dull now. And yeah, honestly, they, <laughs> they're just going to have to see what the Sims ends up doing with this new mod system. Like, I think it's cool that the Sim is actually giving people a chance to use like mods that you can get from like a gallery i feel like that's like a really cool and easy like way to create a hub where people can find mods without having to go and search and search and search for them now creators can just upload their mods to one to one hub where everybody can use them and probably get them more traction as well but um yeah it's just it's crazy Um, and apparently this same like mod hub there they are uh, creating a hub for CC as well uh, custom content as well now I don't know if these little hubs are gonna be um, useful in on console or not but I know for sure um, for yeah for um, Mac and PC as you guys know, The Sims is apparently in development of Project Renee, which is supposed to be The Sims 5. And apparently all these things and all these, these new updates and developments are going to be going into The Sims 5. Because a lot of people keep saying, well, you guys can do this and do that to The Sims 4. But they have to understand, like, The Sims 4 is pretty much already, it's, it's already a game right now. It already has its own systems. It already has its own, like... I don't know how you can say it like layout or whatever so it's i won't say it's impossible to um like reconstruct the sims 4 to, to fit all this in but i must you know it's, it's clear that you know it's it's not gonna be possible because it's, it's already its own game they they clearly are gonna have to create a whole new game which is what they're doing the sims 5 or, or project renee what they're calling it right now um yeah so I'm kind of excited for The Sims 5, but at the same time I'm not because as I said before, I've invested a lot into The Sims 4 and I feel like I wish I could play The Sims 4 without issues to the point where I feel like I could play it forever and switch back between The Sims 4 and The Sims 5 because I've invested so much into it. But I honestly feel like The Sims 4 is just going to become obsolete after a while because it just has too many issues. It literally just has too, just too many issues. Like guys... I don't even like okay so <laughs> I know you guys are crazy yeah you always come in here saying do you got issues with Sims 4 I do okay I do and that's some true real true Jackson VP so I tried to try the bust the dust kit again that did not work out good at all I don't know why but as soon as I turn on the bust the dust kit um I was in one of my sims homes and they have like those little um robots that clean the floor i can't remember what those things are called roombas the little roombas and i have like uh two of them one on the upper level one on the, on the lower level and they usually work just fine of course you do have to clean them out and stuff like that uh every once in a while but dude like as soon as i turn on the bus to dust they started going haywire like they wouldn't go certain places they were breaking down like every couple of minutes they the trash it was like the house was getting filled with trash it was just crazy and i'm like yo this has never been an issue until now as you guys know there has been an update in the game um and that was not an issue like i had been playing in that house just fine and the rumors would turn on they you know do their thing and they would go yeah sometimes i would need to change the trash like that's how it works now they just go haywire so then i had to turn the bus to dust off and at first i thought it was at first I thought maybe it was just a room buzz, like maybe that just wasn't um, emptying the trash for a while, but no, I turned the bus to dust off and it stopped. They kind of stopped doing it, but it's kind of kept doing it. I don't know if it was the update or what, but I'm like, oh my gosh, it's always something. And now it's an issue where, I don't know why, but now when you put like radios or music, like whatever freaking radio um, outside on like a porch or a balcony, they break like they literally just plain break and they don't work anymore 
like it don't matter how many times you try to fix it like you'll go outside and you'll try to fix it your son will go outside and try to fix it and they just won't fix it like they'll just keep trying and trying and trying and nothing happens you'll have to keep buying a new one and then it's just like no matter what you do no matter where you move it no matter which ones you buy it just keeps doing the same thing so almost had him almost had him let's see where they're going <laughs> um is this still a circle oh i was about to say okay but uh yeah it's 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 having that issue and so basically now my sims can't have music outside now i was so most of my sims that have music outside have jacuzzis outside and i was thinking well maybe i can just um you know uh upgrade the jacuzzi to play music but honestly y'all i'm afraid my jacuzzi is gonna break if it has music on it so it's just that is just i don't even know like I, I just don't even know what to think about the sims anymore because it's like it just i just can't play the game outright like guys i'm not even joking when i used to say i used to play the sims 3 for for just straight hours hours upon hours at the school and have no issues i mean it's never kicked me out of the game it's never crashed on me it had never nothing and mind you th i'm this this is on the sims i mean this is on the ps4 uh three the ps3 before i even got this ps4 and i would not have just nearly the issues that i have and it's like dude it's like is it really like is this really worth it like i i just <laughs> i don't know what to think y'all I don't know what to think. They keep saying, just fix the Sim 4, just fix the Sim 4. We don't want the Sim 5. Guys, I don't think it's fixable. I don't think it's fixable. I think that's what the issue is. I do not think it's fixable. It's just too many bugs. Um, I also noticed that ever since the update, the there's a lot of cheats that don't work anymore special and, and that's what that's a, that's one thing that i hate on console is the fact that like when cheats and stuff stop working it's like there's there's literally nothing i can do about it there's nothing i can do about it because it's a console and it's not a pc i can't create new cheats i can't create mods to fix these cheats this is just how it's going to be because you can't do that with console so um for example uh one of the issues that i had been having um was okay so get famous um has a cheat on that you can use on console where you can increase and decrease the fame and you can freeze the fame um so your your sim will always um be at that level and what the freak they must have two people in each oh my goodness we gotta reclaim we gotta reclaim some of these oh my gosh they don't top of that like nobody's over here helping me like what the freak is going on um I guess I'll just stand here since nobody else wants to go reclaim the other hills. You know what? Forget this. Forget this. Because if y'all don't want to go stand there, it's on. Like, reclaim it, dude. What are you doing? Okay, cool, cool, cool. So I'm going to go back to the other one. Oh, my God. As soon as I left, here goes somebody trying to take it over. I should have stayed. I should have stayed. Oh, my God. See? And I'm ambushed. We lost. <laughs> We lost because it's like they're too spread out they're too spread out it's like the other teams are always like kind of like on one accord in one place at one time and they're able to kind of group up but my team is always spread out like right here why is nobody trying to y'all are bro the hills are over there why are y'all in the middle fighting for hills that are like already like controlled like what the freak are you doing dude we lost Okay, let's go look for some people. Uh, ooh, okay, so they're down there already. So let me go around the other side because I feel like that's where everybody is. Whoa, negative one. They must. Somebody must um killed themselves by accident. Yeah, I could tell. Whoa, I don't see anybody. Oh. Oh my gosh! I hate when that happens. Like, I'm just stepping all over the place and I fall. In other news, I have started a cooking journey. 
so I'm going to try to start cooking some recipes. Um, now that I'm living by uh, myself with my fiance, like I've never lived on my own before, um, which is different. So I've never really, I've never been one of those people that like cooked because I've never really been taught to like cook and cook for myself. Like I've done it, but it's like, not really. Like I don't have my own recipes. I don't really ha know how to do like actual meals like rice and vegetables and stuff like that like i i'm pretty good at like minute rice and maybe throwing some <laughs> i make myself laugh throwing some chicken in the air fryer or something like that but i'm trying to get used to cooking like actual meals so i'm on a journey right now to learn how to cook soul food um if you can cook soul food i feel like you can cook anything like that's just like a staple thing that I feel like I should know how to do and as I said before I don't want to be one of those people that oh well I just never was taught or yeah didn't know how to learn like it's possible I just have to put my mind to it really so I'm going to try to cook like I don't know I want to learn how to cook greens I want to learn how to cook like some I don't know like green beans like how people are doing like crock pot those are pretty that's pretty good um, I want to know how to cook things like salmon and properly cooked chicken and stuff like that so I understand like how to do it um like usually these talks that I do is it's mostly for the ladies a lot of the time for my girls out there because yeah I'm a girl and I like to give advice I like to talk about things that that uh some female gamers or females that stream and and have an online presence don't really talk about for females um because it's a real life thing you know what i'm saying like we can all like uh be there for each other when it comes down to to what we don't know and what we do know um as i said before like i'm still young and stuff like that and i want to i want to learn how to do that um if you're like a lady out there and you feel like oh i don't know how to cook and stuff like that i feel like it is such a taboo especially in the black community um to not know how to cook and be a woman it is a taboo i won't say i don't i completely don't know how to cook there's things i can cook like i can cook sloppy joe and tacos and alfredo and i don't freaking know i can cook some chicken wings and you know air fry some fries and make pancakes and stuff like that and, and cook some bacon but i want to learn how to cook like actual meals that take time to marinate and chop up things and get actual real vegetables and learn how to saute them i want to learn how to cook like that and i don't know how to cook like that um as i said before it is something that is just so taboo and i feel like so many women uh this is another uh, take this with y'all for the rest of the week y'all for the rest of the year for the rest of the year um it is like i said such a taboo thing like you don't know how to cook what you can't be no wife what you can't do this you can't do that and as women we get that pressure we get that like scolding hot boiling pressure to if you don't know how to cook you don't know how to do anything if you don't know how to clean you don't know how to do anything if you can't do this you don't know how to do anything and you're not gonna get no man you're not gonna get no husband you're not gonna get no wife whatever your case may be and we gotta stop we got to we got to loose ourselves from that chokehold y'all in this community like y'all if a woman don't know how to cook teach her if a woman don't know how to cook say and, and if you're dating a woman that don't know how to cook say hey babe i noticed that you know you're not really comfortable with being in the kitchen like that i bought you a cookbook and i'm gonna help you learn how to cook or it, it, that's, let's be real some of y'all uh, and most of y'all men don't know how to cook either and y'all be talking about she don't know how to cook i can't date her sir do you know how to cook okay pop tarts don't count do you know how to cook okay uh, so that means we both can get in the kitchen and we can fry it up then buy each other cookbooks and stuff don't don't criticize the other person just let them know hey i noticed these things and i feel like as a family this is something that we can learn together let me buy you a little kitchen envy cookbook let me buy you a little i don't know sims 4 cookbook and we're gonna learn these recipes together don't just throw the woman in the kitchen and expect her to know how to do things because everybody grows up differently okay we're gonna piggyback to what i said earlier in the stream about treating people a certain way be careful how you treat people and what you say to people and what you think about people because you don't know every doggone thing about people and how they grew up everybody grows up differently um 
so yeah so get, pull that person aside and say hey let's do this together i don't care if you have to do blue a apron or do hello fresh first and they just send everything to you and y'all just throw it on the doggone skillet that's better than not trying at all and i have for so long this is something about myself that i feel like i had to change like these are just things that i want to change about myself before before 2023 i'm not going to sit up there and do the resolutions like oh child i'm gonna start next year y'all we're gonna get it together next year no we don't get it together right now okay because i feel like i've waited long enough um for my for my the rest of the year that's what i want to do i want to be able to hold myself accountable and say you know what i didn't take a lot of i didn't take enough time in my in my early 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 20s um and learn how to do things that i should have been learning how to do and even though i wasn't taught i should have took the initiative and learned how to do them myself Hmm, I don't know how to fry chicken. Let me just go ahead and try to fry chicken. I might mess up a couple of times, but let me just go ahead and learn. Let me learn how to cook shrimp. Let me learn how to um, fry salmon. Let me learn how to cook asparagus and not overcook them. Let me learn how to cook rice and not make it too hard or too soft. Let me just keep trying until I do it. And I feel like, yeah, the time is now. The time is always right now, ladies. It's always right now. Um, as I said before, we can have fun playing video games and stuff like that, but y'all know I'm going to give y'all the real nuggets. I'm going to give y'all the real tea. This is, you know, this channel is about empowering women to be themselves. Me being myself, being transparent uh, with you guys can help somebody today. You know, somebody may have came... <laughs> somebody may have came on here like, okay, I just want to watch me some Splitgate and have some fun and she be saying some crazy stuff sometimes. And, you know, she be bringing the vibes. Yeah, cool. I'm glad you're here. Enjoy the stream and stuff like that, but you know... I'm here to empower you guys too. This is not just some dead brain type stuff. You know what I'm saying? I love playing video games. That is my life. But being a homemaker is something else that I am um, on a journey to doing. So I want to grow this channel. I want to be able to um, support my other female uh, gamers and just empower each other. There's a lot more uh, to life than just playing video games, guys, sometimes. Um, take it as as one of those things that it can be um it can be a part of your life but don't make it your life okay uh i do feel like there's a, there's another stigma out there about women who play video games and men that play video games and i always see like the skits of the girlfriends getting mad at the boyfriends and cutting up their 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 um charging cords throwing away their controllers tearing up their systems getting mad getting in their face because they're playing the video the game and stuff like that or there's a stigma about women that's like oh if a woman is playing video games all day she must not know how to take care of kids she must not know how to cook she must not know how to clean her household must be all over the place because what woman does that no that is definitely a stigma and it's definitely like really who thinks like that who does that like no it, it's a part of my life but it's not my life okay i'm a person first gamer second you dig you know what i'm saying i'm an entertainer that's what i do um but as I said before, yeah, I want y'all to take the stuff that I be saying with y'all, females, males, whatever the case may be, and y'all use it in y'all real lives. When you're not playing the game, when you're not streaming, when you're not being an influencer, when you're not at work and stuff like that, elevate your life. Elevate your life and make sure that this is what you really want to do. You know what I'm saying? If, if, if your passion is doing this and playing video games and stuff like that, getting on here playing a little bit of Splitgate, cool. Do that and have fun and balance the rest of your life out. You know, I want to be able to play Splitgate have fun stream content interact with you guys and then go cook me a full course meal for me and my man to sit down and eat and be cute with it you know what i'm saying i want to be able to do that i don't want to have to order no pizza every time i want to get off the game <laughs> and i want something to eat i don't want to do that i don't as i said before you know child i'm long-winded i'm long-winded so that's something that y'all gonna have to learn when you first start watching my streams i am very long-winded but if you like long-winded I'm your girl. I'm your girl. All right. Um, hmm. We are not in the lead, but we're not too far behind where we can't pick ourselves back up. Um, let's see. We got five minutes, y'all. We got five minutes. So I think I'm going to do a couple of more games and I'm going to wrap it up because I know this is probably a long stream as it is. But as a, I love the chit chat. I love the chit chat with y'all. Like I said, I'm long winded, but I like the chit chat. I really hope y'all be enjoying like chit chatting with me and having fun. Soon I will be. In, I'm telling y'all soon I will be in, incorporating that face cam so y'all can see me. Y'all can see me 
you know click clacking my nails if you can hear my nails i'm click clacking my nails because as i said before i still wear the long nails guys like i'm a long nail girl i'm never in my life going to wear no short nails unless i absolutely 100 percent have to for my job that's pretty much it which is very rare um but yeah i really really i'm ready to kind of bring my stream full circle here they go like here they go with like the camping again that's why it's like we're, we're not gonna we're not gonna be that team to stay up here and just camp dude like i'm yeah y'all know i'm coming for y'all y'all know i'm coming for y'all did you bro what what oh so now y'all want to get in the middle as soon as i come up there where is my squad why are y'all not over here y'all see all these people standing here and yet y'all are everywhere else in the world that's why they huddled up because y'all huddled up okay show your face show your face I'm trying to get this um, video out as soon as I can so that way it can be uploaded by tomorrow uh, since my videos are in such high quality it does take a while so yes most likely you guys will be getting this video um, tomorrow which is Monday morning hopefully by tonight though let's see we'll see I heard somebody I heard somebody. I heard somebody. Ooh. And I'm going to try. I think I'm going to try Call of Duty again. I'm going to try Call of Duty again. But honestly, guys, I think I'm just going to run some practice videos. And yeah, we're just going to have a little fun with some practice videos at first. Because like I said, this is it's too much. It's too much. But we're gonna try it again though i'm not gonna give up like but i want to see if i can find like a female like cod community like a safe community that i can play games in like hey girl you online okay cool let's hop on cod that type of thing like um i really like my job i have i actually have a very very i feel like the job that i have is like a huge blessing like it's a job that you kind of you come across like somebody my age with no degree you're only going to come across once in your life um so i'm very 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 blessed and like like highly favored child to have it um but sometimes i do see like streamers and things like that that um have built themselves a brand and who really just do this thing like full time and i do want to become that one day because i want to build that for myself and for my family like i want to be able to get like ten thousand dollars a month something like that and don't have to work but to be honest like the job that i have i i really appreciate the job that i have and i feel like i'm probably going to be there for a while until i start like actually making revenue from this channel um because i feel like my co-workers you know what i'm saying they deserve that like i i really i think it's something that I, I should hold on to you know as i said before as i was talking about having like those other things in life that you can do to to be fulfilled you know fulfill yourself to have things underneath your belt oh we won this time we won this time i am back in the lobby and i think that's enough split gate for me today i hope you guys enjoyed this video i hope you guys enjoyed this chit chat with me today i hope you guys enjoyed watching me play split gate and struggle win and lose everything like that um as i said before i always always appreciate my supporters uh my subs anyone who has helped me to keep growing my channel as you guys know we are on the road to 50 subscribers that is my goal right now um as I said before, I think my subscriber count right now is about 22. So, yeah. So, we're on the road. We're on the road to, to 50. So, 30 more subscribers and I'll be on my goal to 50. And then our next goal after that is 100 subscribers. So, 
without further ado like comment and subscribe don't forget to hit the notification bell so you never miss a video and i will see you guys next time bye